For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. Alright guys, let's do this problem where you have to find the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in compression or in tension. So we're going to use the method of joints to do this problem. So we're going to start here at the top. They usually want to pick one that's isolated from reactions remember a and b have a uh, reaction so you usually want to pick a spot with the least amount of unknowns and isolated that's what you want to do so we're going to pick d so at d you know that the sum of the forces are equal to zero so some of the forces in dx will be equal to zero why dx because we have a 600 newton force going to the left which means that this piece has to react to the right which means that this one has to go down so minus 600 plus ed times the cosine and let's call this angle theta theta is equal to zero now what is theta theta which is the same theta right here is easily found by doing the opposite over the adjacent of the triangle and you do the tangent inverse so theta is the tangent inverse of the opposite which is 8 4 plus 4 over 6 so it's 8 over 6 and that comes out to be 53.1 degrees so you plug in theta over here and you solve for ed and you get that ED is equal to 1000 newtons and as you can see if it's going up here it's going down here and that means that it is in compression then you know that the sum of the forces in the Y also at D is equal to 0 so ED sine of 53.1 minus dc is equal to zero so you solve for dc you plug in ed which which is found and you get that is equal to 800 newtons Let me make a new layer 800 newtons and it is in tension because the arrows are going towards the inside so now we're going to go to c at C. So we got this one going up, which means this one obviously has to go down. And we have the 900 Newton force going to the left, which means this one has to react to the right in order for all the forces to be equal to zero. Pretty easy. So at C, some of the forces in the some of the forces in the Y is equal to zero. So in the Y we got C D which which is found minus cb is equal to zero so obviously they're equal to each other which means that cb is equal to 800 newtons and the arrows are going towards the inside so it is in tension now we can find ec just the same way some of the forces in the x is equal to zero we are also at c so ec going to the right minus 900 is equal to zero so ec is equal to 900 newtons and as you can see it's going towards the outside so it's in compression we turn the page a little bit now let me go back to okay EC so basically for EC you just have to guess a little bit the directions so I'm just gonna assume that this one's going up I'm just guessing because that one's going straight down and since this one's going to the left let's say this one's going to the right 
if the signs come out to be different when we do our calculations then you know that you just flip the arrows and you're fine so let me scroll down so I can keep this diagram so at E you know that the sum of the forces on the X is equal to zero so now we gotta get a little a little complicated you know this is theta and you know that this is also theta because you know that E is right in the middle of A and B so those angles have to be the same that being said AE which is going to the right times the cosine of 53.1 plus EB times the cosine of 53.1 also they're both going to the right this one and this one right here minus EC which is going straight to the left no angle minus ED times the cosine of 53.1 and all of that is equal to zero we got EC and we got ED those two are the ones who are missing so basically you could plug in your calculator cosine of 53.1 and you could pass these values to the right hand side of the equation in other words clean the equation up a little bit and you're gonna get that this is equal to 0.6 AE plus 0.6 EB is equal to 1500 newtons of course and let's call this for now equation 1 so let me draw a line right here because I'm running out of space so some of the forces in the y also at e is equal to zero so in the y we have ae times the sine of 53.1 that's the y component of this force right here minus eb times the sine of 53.1 that's the y component of this one right here EC is doing absolutely nothing in the y direction but we have a component ED coming down minus ED times the sine of 53.1 and all of that is equal to zero and again we have ED so we can clean this equation to look something like this 0.8 AE minus 0.8 EB is equal to 800 and let's call this equation 2 so I'm gonna rewrite equation 1 right below equation 2 but I'm gonna multiply it before I rewrite it by 0 0.8 over 0 0.6 and that's gonna be look something like this 0.8 AE plus 0.8 EB is equal to 2000 so basically I multiplied all these terms by this fraction right here and I just rewrote the equation one right below it and as you can see you can add both equations and the EBs are gonna cancel out and you're gonna get that 1.6 AE is equal to 2800 and when you solve for AE by dividing 2800 by 1.6, you're going to get that AE is equal to 1750 newtons. And it's positive, so that means that our original assumption was right on its direction. So AE is fine. And the arrows are pointing towards the outside of the member, which means it's in compression. And then you just plug in this into equation 1, and you're going to get that EB is equal to 750 newtons positive again which means our assumption was right and the arrows are going towards the inside of the member which means it's in tension so final answer for EB final answer for AE CB EC DC and ED Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.